All right, what's going on, you guys? Welcome to Real Madrid Hub again. I'm your host, Dr. Jota. Okay, the squad list against Athletic de Bilbao has been released like one hour ago. And the most important is maybe that Marcelo Vieira was included again in that list. But in my opinion, it's, ju it's not just because Zidane won him back in the squad list. It's just because there's no other choice for him. I mean, we are running out of uh, players and the only reason why Marcelo was included in that squad list is because there's no other chance for us. So let me go um let me get into the details with the squad list i'm going to tell you i mean goalkeepers we have to courtois lunin and altuve defenders is going to be militao nacho fernandez marcelo odrosola and miguel gutierrez and then in the midfield is going to be modric casemiro valverde isco and antonio blanco as you know tony cruz will not be able to make it as uh, he was in close contact with someone who tested positive in covid 19 and right now is quarantined in is in quarantine uh, himself at home and then the forwarders are going to be Hazard, Benzema, Asensio, Vinicius Jr., Mariano, and Rodrigo Goes. So the big question mark that pops up right now is what kind of lineup we will see tomorrow against Athletic de Bilbao. In my opinion, Zidane has uh, different choices, but in my opinion, for tomorrow, maybe the most, um, the best or, or the most accurate formation for tomorrow is a 4-4-2. Uh, trying to be conservatives because if you keep in mind Athletic de Bilbao is a very tough team in my opinion Zidane will try um, I mean he will try to be more conservative than usual I mean he might use the 3-5-2 again but if you have to Militao and Nacho as the most important couple in the center back in my opinion what you want to use is in the sidelines to Odrio Sola and Miguel Gutierrez I don't think that Marcelo will have so many chances to play tomorrow then in the midfield of course, Modric will have to repeat again in the lineup along with Casemiro, Fede Valverde and maybe Isco Alarcono or even Antonio Blanco has a lot of chances as well to play tomorrow. And then in the forward, I mean, I think I told you this morning, in my opinion, that will be between Benzema and either Vinicius Jr. or Rodrigo Goes. Even Rodrigo Goes would be a better choice for me, but this is my opinion and everything is up to Zinedine Zidane right now. So let me know your thoughts about that. Just comment in the section below and of course subscribe to my channel, Real Madrid Hub.